What's up guys? Today, Trevor and I are gonna be welding on the new bumper for his 93 Bronco. Who made this bumper? Uh, it's from Wild Horses. From Wild Horses. It's like a semi DIY bumper. They already cut it all out, sheet break it as you can see. And then we're gonna come in here and weld up all the panels together. And I think we're gonna do some welding in the back where this quarter inch plate uh, winch pad goes. So we're getting it all cleaned up right now. We'll get the gun set up, start burning wire. getting a new bottle and then realizing the regulator was stuck. We got the regulator fixed, back in business. Right here is where we had our ran out of gas. But we're gonna grind it all down. Yeah, it's coming together. Oh, dude, that's so easy. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. So on these parts where you have that quarter inch plate in the bottom, you can kind of keep the pool in the middle and then like whisk it up onto the 3 16 plate. Okay. Because that quarter inch can take so much more heat. Right. up all that welding I'll show you what we've got going on in the shop this is going to be a 540 cubic inch big block Chevy pump gas hydraulic roller cam it's gonna make about 620 horsepower this motor 383 Chevy 445 horse same deal forged crank four inch rods brand new block one piece seal 427 Ford this is the 406 Chevy that is currently a test motor for us right now. 
if you haven't seen its video, go check it out on my channel. I'll see if I can figure out how to link it sometime during this shot. Right now, we're, we've got the cranking rods and heads and cam. We're just waiting on the pistons from JE. This bad mamma jamma is our 572 cubic inch, 950 horse, I'm sorry, it'll be around like 920 horse, supercharged big block Chevy. Uh, don't worry about that. 347 Ford, and here's that blower for the big block. It's getting twin Holly snipers, self-tuning EFI. I'm gonna do some manual tuning on my laptop with it just because it is a blower motor with a big camshaft. So we'll do some tweaking and then we'll let Holly take over. Their self-tuning program is super fast and very smart, very intuitive. It's pretty cool how it works. He has a base field table and then it has a second learning table. And as the O2 sensor in closed loop mode compensate for the fueling, it populates its learning graph and then multiplies that versus the base table and goes from there. And in the software, it's really cool because you can run it on our engine dyno for a while, let it populate the learning table for a little bit, and then I can flash that learning table into the base table so that way closed loop doesn't have to make as many corrections off of the base table. So, really like the Holly stuff. Anyways, let's go see how Trevor's doing. Bunch of cylinder heads, bunch of blocks. That's an LS7 right there. LS3, another brand new LS7, billet mains, 4125, you know the deal. A bunch of small block Chevys. These are all a bunch of practice blocks that we do for machine testing and stuff. 5.3 LS aluminum, three, two Fords, Chevy, 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 that's a small block Ford. That's gonna be a 363 Ford. I'm trying to get my dad to go pick this one up so we can start building it. Here's that other LS7 again. And here is T Baldwin burning the wire. Let's see in the back side, this would be a cool shot. It's all 316 steel, and then the winch pad is quarter inch plate. So right now we've got all of the outside seamed in. That's cool. Hey, you see all the heat transfer? And we're gonna come in next. This is breaking. That was done on a break, I mean. But we'll come back and probably do just little stitches. I don't think we're gonna fully seam it on the back side. We might. See how we feel. And remember, you can leave that pool in the middle and kind of whisk it onto the smaller plate. Okay. weld. Look at that, look how flush that is.
All right, we got the old grill off. Getting ready to pump this bumper off. And then we'll go get the other bumper and start test fitting it, figure out where we need to weld up the mounts. We got Harley with us today. We'll go from there. So the new bumper has these plates that it came with. These two bolt holes are gonna mount onto the bumper itself. And those two are gonna go right there. But these have been rusted on there for the last 27 years. And they are not coming out. So we've got the cutoff wheel. Just gonna blast them right off. And then go get some new hardware for this plate. That was honestly the most pain in the ass part of the whole thing. What an event. Jesus Christ. All right, so someone backed into Trevor and it knocked these tabs backwards. We're trying to pull them back parallel to each other and this is the contraption we came up with. I'm 90% sure it's gonna pop this strap. I guess so. Harley, get out of there. Harley, get out. It's not doing anything. Oh man. Dude, the whole strap was stretching like three inches. Really? Yeah. yeah, we need, if we're gonna do this, we need cables. We need like a come along and straight cable. Okay, hold on a second. You can see that. Thing is. Why don't you take the sledge? What if this moved in also? And if you take the sledge and blow it right here, come back out. The other option is we just use the bolts to draw it together with the bumper. Yeah. Yeah. Which would do something. Very true. Oh, it's a 10 pound. Dude, I don't think... No, that's Dude, definitely bent right here. What if we scored this, bent it back, welded it? That would work. 100%. Can we get the welder over here? Is there I a don't weld? know if I have the extension cords too. We were welding on that side one time. Yeah, because we've got the forklift charger right here, which plugs into 220. All right, so, so because these plates were bent back, we had to hammer them forward. However, it's quarter inch steel and we couldn't get enough leverage behind here to hammer it. So what you do is you can cut a mark in it almost the way, almost all the way through. That way the actual metal that we're bending is super thin and easy and we can easily bend these parallel to each other and we're gonna mock fit it up real quick and then we'll come back and fill this in with a weld. 
to make it nice and sturdy again. Test fitment looks pretty freaking mint. Dude, and we can, uh, if somehow we figure out how to bend pipe, we can build a bull bar. Yeah. Yeah, just have a nice little bull bar coming up over the winch. Yeah. Because the winch is going to go right here, guys, and it'll have its cable comes out here. And then we're also going to weld on some D-rings here that you can hook up toe straps to. So we'll have a big winch right here, a lot of cable, bull bar comes out, oh, protects that. Tabs go on the outside, for sure. Because the holes aren't even close to lining up. Tabs go on the outside? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. That's an easy fix. Uh, you're going to have to pull it off and hold it. That's fine. What do you think of it? I love it. I think it's dope as f That is so cool. All right, you want to get those? I'm going to maybe buy a blazer now. <laughs> I kind of want one now. <laughs> All right. Well, we don't, need to, we don't need to fix the tabs because we know it fits. So now we can just go weld it. Dude, do you want to weld it with these already bolted in? Yeah, we could. Yeah, let's really just put it on. Here. There's so much room here. Yeah. All right. I'll hold it if you want to. Hold on, let go. Follow you. Oh, there you yeah. Go. There it is. Alright, now we just gotta play the alignment game. Get it all square. Does it look pretty good? Uh, I think it needs to... It needs to shift to the driver's side of here. And as far as level this way, it's... Perfect. It could maybe tilt up on the front. Okay. But then we need we do need to kick it over to the driver's side, a quarter inch. Yeah, it's good right there. You're not gonna be able to get closer than that. The old stick welder, right? Burn our end, dude. Ready? Yep. That's it for the fabricating, huh? Not bad. Hey guys, I just left Trevor's house. The bumper is totally finished. It's welded up. Everything's ground down nice and clean. It's gonna look super cool when it's finally mounted on the Bronco. I think Trevor was saying he's gonna do a black textured powder coat finish on it. So it'll be really durable. Uh, it'll have a real nice adhesion to that metal and should look great for many years to come. So if you guys wanna see it finished up and put on the Bronco, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that way you're notified when we post that video. If not, I'll see you guys later.